Hello you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Charity and if it's your first time here, you're watching Booked on Charity. Please remember to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. Like this video in the end if you enjoy it and also please follow me on my social media accounts. I will link them down below. So in today's video, I'll be sharing with you my March. I'm almost forgetting which month today. My March TBR. So I've got a lot of books on here. I have curated a list for myself so that I'm able to have a nice set of books to choose from when I'm in the mood for a certain genre. So I tried to like mix it up a little bit. Um, however, on this pile, I also do have two books that I'm carrying over. Today is the last day of February and I do not believe that I'll be able to finish either one of these books. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. The first book I got is Night House by Lee Bardugo. I started this one and I am on page 94 of this book, so I haven't made much of a dent. I'm enjoying the storyline. I'm enjoying um, kind of like a magic system. However, I feel like I'm struggling with the writing style. It reads fine, however, um, I feel like the writing's a little bit dense and there's a lot of references and quotes mentioning people that I don't even know and I don't know if they're real people or not and I feel like there's like additional information be given here and I'm asking myself is it necessary to the story is it needed in the story I have no idea but um, because of that I, I keep on putting the book down and also what makes it even more difficult is that the chapters are actually quite long the writing is very small the chapters are long so you spend a lot of time on one chapter and after it you're just like have you moved along at all in the story i don't know but yeah the writing is a little bit off for me but i am inter interested in the story and i'm interested to find out what is going on so i'm going to read you the back of the book because i've been trying to explain this synopsis <laughs> for the last two minutes. So it says Galaxy, um, Alex Stern is the most unlikely member of Yale's freshman class, a dropout and a sole survivor of a horrific unsolved crime. Alex was hoping for a fresh start, but her free ride comes with a catch. She has been tasked with monitoring Yale's secret societies, notorious haunts of the rich and powerful. Now there's a dead girl on campus and Alex is the only person willing to look deeper because the societies are far more sinister and extraordinary than anyone ever imagined. That's the thing, like the synopsis sounds so good. Like I'm really intrigued. The writing is like holding me back a little bit but yeah i'm busy with this book the other book i'm busy with is the castle of tangled magic and this is by sophie anderson this is a middle grade story and i am currently on page 80 of the story i'm enjoying it a lot so in this book we follow 13 year old olia i don't know if it's olia or olia and uh, she lives in this castle, Castle Mila, and Castle Mila is full of magical things. And she grew up around her grandmother who's been telling her about these magical spirits that live in and around the castle. And now we are in a space where the castle is in danger and she needs to find the magic that is hidden in this castle to be able to like save the day. Next, I've got Five Survive by Holly Black. I'm showing you the inside of the book because I have a proof copy and it doesn't actually have the title on the front. Um, but this is by Holly Black and I had this book on my TBR in February. But February was such a busy month for me, I didn't even get a chance to pick this one up. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to. Um, this is one of the thrillers that I have on my TBR because I feel like I'm gearing towards a thriller mood so I want to have a few thrillers to be able to choose from. The next book I have is another middle grade and this one is called Onyeka and the Academy of the Sun and this is by Tola Okogu. I had this book for a while now and I've heard really amazing things about it and I really want to pick it up so this is like a second middle grade book that I have on my TBR. Like I said, I'm trying to mix things up a little bit. So I've got a bit of fantasy, I've got a bit of mystery thrillers, and I've got some middle grade, which is generally the genres that I gravitate towards. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one. So in this book, we follow Onyeka, and Onyeka finds out that her hair actually has magical abilities, and 
because of that she gets whisked away to this academy of the sun where she'll be trained to essentially use her magic the next book i have is guild and this is by raven kennedy this is the first book in the plated prisoner series that i'm really excited for a lot of people who have read this book have compared it to Ekatar and I really really loved Ekatar so I'm excited to see what this book has in store for me or the series rather has in store for me and I'm trying to plan around reading one of the books in the series every month going forward because I actually do have the series up to date I don't know if it's meant to be a quartet or if there's more books coming but yeah, I'm really looking forward to reading Guild. The next book I have is one that I've had on my shelves for quite a bit and I was really excited when I picked it up at the bookshop because I thought that I would, I would be reading it soon. And that is The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. It's, it's quite a small book, so I really, really hope that I will get the time to be able to pick this one up and see what it's about. I don't even know what it's about, but the title for me was interesting enough for me to want to pick up the book and i believe that i've heard good things about it i don't know if it was great all the way and i believe that i've heard really good things about it so i'm excited to finally maybe pick it up so the next book i have is one that i'm sure that i'm going to pick up in this month because it is a buddy read between myself and an online friend of mine Rafilwe, and we decided to read the series together starting with the first book in march and that is the final empire by brandon sanderson i've heard amazing things about the ms brown trilogy like if you have to ask anybody who's a brandon sanderson fan which series to start with if you want to get into brandon sanderson this is the one they recommend this is the one that i bought this is the one that I, I have so yeah so we plan to read this one in march starting with the first book final empire and then we're going to read book two in april and then book three in may so looking forward to this one the next book i have is wolf song by tj clune i absolutely love tj clune's writing i've enjoyed the two books that i've read from them which was a house in the surreal estate which is going to be a forever favorite as well as under the whispering door and um, this book is part of the green greek series this four books out so far but they are reprinting it because i believe now it's getting published with tor i don't know who it was published with before but i'm actually I actually do love these covers so yeah I'm really looking forward to picking this one up the next one I have is a new release that I was anticipating and I'm really looking forward to this the cover is so stunning it is so stunning and uh, I had kind of like started listening to the audiobook in February and then I stopped <laughs> because I want to I want to read the physical book the physical book as well and that is the cloisters and this is by katie hayes i mean look at that look at that cover isn't it so pretty i think it's really pretty you've got a skull you've got some flowers you've got some butterflies and it says if death was in the cards would you want to know let me know in the comments down below um but yeah i'm really looking forward to this one i believe that this one is like a mystery thriller um but i don't want to read the back because i don't want to know i don't like to know the synopsis especially when it comes to mystery thrillers like i want to be completely blind like i feel like with fantasy books i can kind of like read the synopsis or the tagline to figure out if this is the kind of fantasy i would enjoy but with thrillers i don't even know how i how do i pick thrillers i have no idea at some point i know that i read the synopsis in order to be able to pick this book right but i've completely forgotten which is great for me because i can go again into this book as blind as if i've never even read the synopsis before the next book i have is a another arc and this one is releasing in may of 2023 and i did say i want to be better with my arcs i want to be able to read and review the books way before they are published and that book is the adventures of amina al sirafi by shannon chakraborty i had to look at the, the back because i didn't want to get this wrong but look how beautiful this arc is you guys this is an arc okay this is an arc like how much more beautiful 
is the finished copy. Okay, fine. I do know what the finished copy looks like, but ugh, this is so stunning. Absolutely, absolutely stunning. Uh, I'm really looking forward to this one. So at the back it says, Captain Amina Al Serafi, smuggler, pirate, blasphemer who was too ambitious, too violent, and utterly inappropriate. That sounds absolutely amazing, and I'm looking forward to reading this one. Whew, I've got a lot of books. <laughs> Um, the next one I have is In the Mists of It All, and this is by Tabile Shange. This is a romance um, novel that I'm looking forward to picking up. I was interested by, first of all, the cover, because it's absolutely beautiful. Second of all, the premise of it sounds good. I'm not a big romance reader, as you guys know, but there's some romance books that have really ticked the boxes for me so i hope that this one is going to be one of them the next book i have is an adult thriller and this one is called the blame game and this is by sandy jones uh, and in the front it says your word against mine there are two sides to every story and then there's the truth so i'm looking forward to reading this one i think it's going to be an interesting thriller i hope that i really really enjoy it the writing in here is very spacious so i don't think it should take a lot of time to read so if i'm looking for like a quick thriller i feel like this is gonna be one for me to pick up and yeah looking forward to it the final book i have I've anticipated so much last year and I cannot even explain to you why I have not picked up this book yet. Um, I don't know if it's like a part not having um, time to, to really read it, part being intimidated by it because of reviews or lack thereof and um, I don't know. I don't know. I want to love it as much as I loved book one and with that said, I actually have to go back to book one and read like the last chapter so that I can remember the way the plot twist went. Uh, but the book that I'm talking about is The Atlas Paradox and this is by Olivia Blake, who is an author that I'm, I feel like I'm, I'm getting to love. So yeah, this is book two of the Atlas series. I don't, is this a series? This is a, I have no idea. I have no idea. Um... I want to see okay so this is going to be a trilogy it's called the atlas trilogy so this is book two the covers are beautiful i love these books they are so so pretty i had to just get the first one so you could see them like side by side and the special editions of these books oh, so stunning so so stunning so tiktok really really loves this series and i love the first book for sure i gave it like five stars and i'm kind of like intimidated by this one but i want to finally just jump over that line and read this book because i want to love it and i think i'm going to love it and in my mind the story can only get better you know we've gone through the first hurdle of getting to know everybody so now i want the action is it gonna give me action i don't know because i feel like the first one was very character driven second one might be still very character driven but i hope that there's a bit more of the plot in here as well and that was the last book on my tbr it is quite long but like i said i am not planning on reading every single book on this pile if i could definitely i would be doing that however i don't read that fast <laughs> um but yeah like i said i wanted to give myself enough options because i am a very big mood reader and the past month like i've it's it's been moods and moods and moods so i feel like i am still in that zone so i wanted to give myself kind of like a wide range of genres to read from and different age groups as well so that i can pick and choose pick up a book and put down another one when i'm not feeling it anymore so yeah with that said thank you so much for watching this video i really appreciate you guys remember to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and i will see you in my next video bye